Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 20 video. This is going to be a video on my channel on another squad builder. Today it is going to be on the La Liga Santander. So definitely go ahead, drop a like on the video if you are, if this is something you want to see and you are going to go on to enjoy the video. Also make sure you go ahead, drop a comment down below on any other squad builders you want to see, any hybrids, stuff like that. I was going to make a squad builder on the League 1 as well, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Already I have posted a Premier League squad builder, a Serie A squad builder and a Bundesliga squad builder. So make sure you check them out if that's something you are interested in. Make sure you definitely go ahead and check it out. But today of course it is going to be on the La Liga Santander, the La Liga BBVA as we all know it as. Um, there's a lot of great players in this league so I feel like it's a great league to start. You start a squad of course. Um, you don't want to be jumping to Premier League early on because of how expensive players can be. Stuff like that. But like I said, make sure you go ahead, drop a like on the video if you do enjoy it. And make sure you drop a comment down below on any other videos you do want to see. I may make a Team of the Week prediction video. Obviously now with FIFA does come out this week, on Thursday you can play EA Access. And on Wednesday the web app does come out and the Team of the Week will come out with it. And then we're going to have Player Month Pucky. We've got all these players... Um, who are very, very good coming out, and it is just hype at the moment. Everyone's excited for FIFA 20, of course. Everyone's ready. But without further ado, we are going to jump into this squad here. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, we are going to be going in a 4-3-2-1 formation today. Different formation to the formations that we have used in previous videos for different squad builders, of course. Um, so I'm starting off in net. Of course, if we do go with La Liga, uh, second league there, goalkeepers. I have chosen Areola to go in there, but looking at it now, I do think he could be a little bit expensive. Um, obviously, you've got Courtois being the main keeper uh, for Real Madrid, and obviously he'll probably be the go-to keeper in the La Liga. We've got Oblak and Stegen as well, but Courtois is very tall, of course, so... I feel like he's the best option to go with in net because tall keepers do seem to do the job way more than other keepers. Um, so I do recommend Courtois eventually, obviously. I may make some end game teams as well, some videos on that. We'll definitely take a look at that. Um, but we have got Areola here, who I am going to go with. I feel like he could be slightly expensive simply because he is French. Um, and Loris is quite short and never usually great on FIFA. So a lot of people tend to go for other French goalkeepers. And obviously, Areola's got a transfer and he is, he's got an upgrade as well. He's now rare and he's 82 rated. So I feel like he could be quite desirable. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. If this guy is expensive and you're watching this video, don't pick him up. Pick someone up like Paquet, Pat. Echo, I don't know how you say it, Pake or whatever. Um, and then we've got Asenho, for example. There's all sorts of keepers that you can use. But I'm going to go ahead and throw in Areola. And then at centre-back, on the right centre-back, we are going to go with Diego Carlos, um, the Brazilian. Got a very, very all-round card. 77 pace, good defending, good physical. Exactly what you do need from a centre-back. Keep in mind that he's only got 58 passing, which can be a little bit of an issue. I do notice on centre-backs... When they do have low passing, it genuinely does matter at times and you can tell that you're trying to play out from the back and you just can't. The passes are going all over the place and it just does become an issue after so long. So keep that in mind when you are picking up these players. But again, it's only a starter squad so you can't expect these players to be too great. Um, but then at left centre-back, we have got Gabriel Polista, 72 pace. Again, make sure your centre-back's always got minimum 70 pace. That's kind of my rule. Minimum 70, and they can go into my squad. I don't want someone below 70 pace. Um, he's just all over the place, not very agile on the ball, just don't feel great. I like to have a player that's a bit agile, someone that can genuinely move around with the ball in the feet, and like Varane. Like all sorts of players, Van Dijk, uh, Ramos, it's all all of these players. But obviously with the cheap players, you kind of it's more limited. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the two Brazilians at centre back, getting that strong link. And then at right back, we are gonna go ahead and throw in Demarcos. He has got a downgrade to 78. Uh, I think it's a downgrade anyway. But he used to be very very good on FIFA, and he used to be a lot quicker. He used to have like 90 plus pace. He's only got 83 now. I don't know, he may be getting a little bit old. We can actually check his in-game stats. I think we can check his age, I'm not sure. Um, no, it doesn't say his age on it. I don't think it does, but he is getting on a little bit, I think. But he used to have way more pace. But again, 83 pace isn't an issue on a right back. He's decent at defending. 71, obviously not amazing, but he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing and the physical. So he kind of has everything all in one. 
Uh, and then at left back, we are going to go ahead and throw in the Barcelona left back called Firpo. He does look very good. I was just taking a look at the card. He's got the defending, he's got the physical, he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing, and he's 85 pace. So we kind of have everything that you need in a cheap left back. So I feel like it just makes sense for me to throw him in there. So that's what I've done. He may be a little bit expensive, maybe like 4k, 3k early on in FIFA, but again... A very good option, very all-round card. And then at right CM, we are going to throw in Herrera, the Mexican. Um, main reason for this, very all-round card. All stats in 70. feel like he could be very overpowered in FIFA this year. So I just I kind of do recommend that you throw him in your midfield or in your squad that you are building. A very, very good card, of course. And then we've got Thomas Party, who I am going to throw in a middle centre mid. He's going to go in the middle mainly because he's kind of a tank type player. He's very good in the air. He's very, very strong, of course, as we all know. He is six foot one, so he does win headers. Um, and yeah, he's got 74 pace, which is decent. 84 physical being the key stat on this card. And then 79 defending, 77 dribbling, 77 passing, 72 shot and 74 pace. So the reason why I picked this card, medium high, obviously, he's going to stay back more than he does go up, which is very, very important. And the fact that you can kind of do everything that you need from a midfielder and he probably won't be too expensive. Early on in FIFA, yeah, maybe he's going to be about 10k. But with the coin boost on, stuff like that, you can probably get him into your starter squad. And if you add some FIFA points, then definitely you'll be able to. But I don't recommend you to do that. But again, left CDM, no, left centre mid, we have got Voss, uh, Vass, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, so all the midfielders are very overpowered. They've all got stats. None of them has a stat below 70 which is so, so important, it genuinely is, but none of them are amazingly quick, keep that in mind as well, none of them are like 80 plus pace, but I feel like 70 you can get away with for a midfielder, but he's got 75 pace, 77 shot, 81 passing, 77 dribbling, 76 defending, and 73 physical, so again, overall, very, very solid card, very, very good, I don't think he is very tall actually, I think he is something like 5 foot 8, uh, but that's why I'm playing him out wide. So, no, he's 5'11", so that isn't actually too bad. He should win a few headers. But I'm pretty sure this Herrera is quite short. I think he might be, like, 5 foot. Oh, no, he's not. He's six foot one as well. So, again, not an issue. I did think he was quite short. But, again, the midfield for me, for a cheap starter squad, that's genuinely one of the be best midfields that you will actually get. So, keep that in mind when you are building the squad. But, at right winger, we are going to go with Jesus Navas. I'm not going to lie to you. There isn't many amazing options for right winger in the La Liga. I will show you now. Obviously, Navas isn't the greatest because his shooting ain't the greatest. And his overall card isn't really great. And I know Navas ain't, ain't amazing. But if you actually take a look at the options here, there isn't many. I'm going to change Navas, actually. I'm going to throw Correa in. Um, but there isn't actually many options for right winger unless you've got a lot of coins, for example. So you've got Bale, obviously. He's a very good card. He has been downgraded, but he's still got a very good card. So I'd throw Bale in if that was, if that was me. But he will be about 100k, probably more than that. Dembele will be expensive as well early on. He's got an upgrade. He's a very good card. He's always very solid on FIFA. And then obviously Messi is going to be way too expensive. Koke is too slow. Don't, re don't recommend him. But yeah, I'm going to throw Correa in there at right wing. He does get the double uh, strong link to Thomas, uh, Party, and Herrera. Obviously both playing for Atletico. And then at left winger, we are going to go ahead and throw in Vinicius uh, Junior, I think that's how you do pronounce it. He is a five star skiller. Uh, he's a very, very good all round card. Taking a look at his stats here um, five star skills, four star weak foot, which is very important. He's finishing, obviously, again, it definitely does lack, but he's very, very quick, which is what you need. He has the passing, it isn't the worst, and he's got decent dribbling. So it's more about just having a quick player here to provide your striker and provide provide other players to be able to score because I don't think he's going to be a goal scorer for you but early on in the game I don't think he'll be that expensive simply because there's way better options than him but he could be about five six seven k around that mark so keep in mind but I do think he'll be a starter squad player and a very very good card overall so I do recommend him and then the key player of the squad here we are going to go ahead and throw in a Morales up front he's got 89 pace 81 shot 84 dribbling 68 physical 76 passing and overall, just a very good card. I am going to make another video on certain cards I do recommend you to go ahead and pick up. Uh, just to make coins on them, stuff like that. Good plays that you can pick up. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that video. I may make a Team of the Week video as well. But let me know what you do think about this squad in the comment section down below. If there's anyone that you would add into the squad, definitely drop a comment. 
and say who you take out and who you put in for that player. For me, I think this is one of the best La Liga teams you can start with without uh, having a lot of coins, obviously. There's a few other players you can go ahead and pick up. For example, we've got, uh, spell it wrong actually, Condogbia. He's got a very good card, 81 rated, obviously. All his stats, 70 plus, but I do know... For example, I think it was last year, maybe in the year before, but I think it was last year on FIFA 19 early on. Condogbia was extremely expensive, like a 30-40k player for a long time. He was very expensive because he's very solid in game, he's very tall, so that's why I haven't put him in the squad. I would throw him in over Vass, probably put him there. Uh, I'll probably put him in middle centre mid because he's obviously way taller. I think he does have... Uh, I think he is like six foot three, six foot two. he is, so he's a very tall centre mid. But that is what I would end up doing. Uh, so when you do get enough for him, definitely go ahead and throw him in. There is obviously other options at centre-back. For example, I can show you here if we took this guy out. Uh, La Liga, centre-back. There's, there's loads of options at centre-back, but I just kind of threw someone in that was quite cheap. For example, this guy here, Dejean, however you pronounce it. He's got a very, very all-round card, but simply because his card's so good and it's 83 rated, he'll sell for quite a bit early on in FIFA, so I don't recommend you save up for him. We've got Fernandez, who's always very good, but he is quite short, so again, I don't really recommend him, and he probably will be quite expensive. And then Eder, Militao, obviously I recommend him, but he's Brazilian, he plays for Madrid, he's a new transfer, he will be quite expensive early on. We've got Hermoso, who again, a very good option. Sydney, a very good option, and then we've got Diego Carlos, of course, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter who you do throw in. Let's for, say we do throw in this Hermoso. How tall is he? Uh, he's six foot, so he's tall enough. So I do recommend him. He could be a great option as well. Another Atletico player. But like I said, definitely go ahead. Drop a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this squad? Would you build this squad? Is this a good enough starter squad for you? Uh, for me, I, I could definitely use this team for a weekend league, maybe a weekend league or two. Just save up, obviously, slowly improve the team, get players that are obviously better in each position eventually. Save up for Varane, save up for Ramos, save up for Courtois, save up for Marcelo. There's so many different players you can get, but definitely go ahead, drop a comment down below. But I really hope you have enjoyed the video. Like I said, just drop a like if you have enjoyed it. Also, comment down below what you do want to see in future videos. But that has been that. Hope you enjoyed and peace out.